Hi everybody. So today I just want to show off a few different ways that you can go about applying your one to many glitters. And I want to show off a few select shades as well. So I'm going to get right in here. Um, there's going to be a series of videos today. So be on the lookout for them and watch them and everything because it's all coming up to a big announcement from one too many glitters and you don't want to miss it because it can mean something good for you so this first method that i'm using <clears throat> is really simple you pick up a ball of acrylic you pick up a little bit of glitter on it and you go to town and I usually work this in several beads um, just so I can kind of get as much glitter as I want on there and get it where I want it. The fun thing about working with acrylic and glitter is that you can pretty much freestyle it any old way that you want it. And because glitter is so awesome, it's like magic fairy unicorn poop. So it makes everything good. <laughs> And once you've got your glitter in your um, acrylic, comes fairly simple if my tip was hanging on. Sorry, I'm off camera. It becomes fairly simple if my tip was hanging on. Better to just smooth that out. Put it exactly where you want it. Um, if you feel like you don't have enough on your first application, you can always just pick some up with the brush and place it on there where you want it. Or you can do another bead and add more glitter to it. But it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And, you know, you get so many different ways that you can use it. It's great for color blocking. Um, this method or another method I'll show in another video. Um, it gives you so many possibilities and my special favorite design to do on anybody, including myself, is always going to be glitter. This one is making a repeat performance for Valentine's Day this year, but it was one of the original glitters in my Barbie inspired line. Um, it included Gidget. And I believe this one is Skipper, uh, Mitch, one called Trom House that I'll show you next. It's gorgeous. And Bingo Bango got that smooth. Now there's a million different ways you can use this. Like I said, sometimes I like to shake the loose or the smaller glitter out and then pick the hearts out and place them where I want them to go um you know you can make a cute little design that way or you can do them just like I did them and just have fun this makes a really cute ombre too over your pinks like keep that in mind you're gonna want to ombre with some of this stuff but it's got so much hollow and iridescence and multicolored fun <laughs> okay so i'll be top coating and taking pictures so i can post them and i'll be back with another video